So question three, we've got this lovely um, velocity time graph. Two travellers, A and B, make the same journey along a straight road, a long straight road. Each traveller walks for part of the journey and rides a bicycle for part of the journey. They start the journeys at the same instant and they end their journey simultaneously after travelling for T hours. A starts cycling, so that's A starting cycling at a steady speed of 20 for one hour. Then leaves the bicycle at the side of the road and completes the journey walking at 5 kilometres an hour. That's the rest of A's journey. B begins the journey walking at a slightly slower pace. When B finds the bicycle where A left it, B cycles at 15 kilometres per hour to complete the journey. Calculate the distance A cycles and hence find the period of time B walks whoops, copy down a bit there, before finding the bicycle. So the first thing, well, okay, A, person A begins by cycling uh, 20 kilometres an hour for one hour. That's, that's not a terrifically difficult thing to work out. 20 kilometres an hour for one hour is 20 kilometres. Okay. <coughs> and then we're told that B walks for T hours at 4 kilometres an hour. So for person B, they've walked 4 kilometres an hour for T hours and they also have travelled 20 kilometres in doing that. So if 4 times T is 20, T must be 5 hours. Okay, I've used little T, but it should have been big T, shouldn't it? Should it? No, that is little T. Yes. Um, okay, what next? Find T. So they start the journeys at the same instant and they end the journey simultaneously after travelling for T hours. So, uh, so the whole thing, that we've gone the same distance. The distances underneath these graphs uh, are supposed to be identical. So, so what have we got? Well, I actually put it all together as, as the same equation here. I'm saying if we think about person A, person A have, have gone 20 kilometres an hour for one hour, and then they've gone, well, this distance here, they've gone at 5 kilometres an hour. And this distance is T, big T, take away 1, isn't it? That gap there. So they've gone 5 times big T minus 1. Okay, so that's the distance travelled by A on the left. Person B. Well, we know now that they walked for five hours. So this gap here is four times five. And then they did 15 kilometres an hour. For this period of time here, well if, if we can draw that on, if that is at 5, then this gap here is big T minus 5. So they did that for big T minus 5. Now that's, uh, we've got slightly more than we need in that equation, haven't we? Notice here, this is person A, <laughs> supposed to be a bracket, and this is person B. Uh, we've got more than we need in this equation because we've got the 20 that was there walking bit included on both sides. So we could just eliminate that straight away. We've got 5 t minus 1 is 15 t minus 5. And maybe a smarter thing would have been to come straight in at that equation there. Which gives us 5 t minus 5 is 15 t minus 75. Which gives us that 70, if I add the 75 over there, is 10t. So the total on travelling time, big T, is 7 hours. Calculate the distance A and B each travel. Well, well I've, I've kind of I've done that, haven't I? We put that in there. Either side of this original equation tells me the distance that they travel. 
So for part three, if I just do it from the left hand side, person A, I'm doing 20 plus 5 times 7 minus 1. So that is 50. I think 20 plus 30 gives me 50 kilometers. And if I want to, I can do a quick check here because I did the same thing over here. This is 20 plus 15 times 7 minus 5, so that's 15 times 2. So that's 20 plus 30, so that also gives me the 50. Of course it does. Okay, are we happy about that? Great. And that's maths. <laughs>